So I've been really jamming out lately on this idea of biblical principles that can be applied towards weight loss and health. It's been like this super big fascination uh, just over the past like two years of mine of just how can, how can I read the Bible? How can I build a relationship with Jesus and apply the things that I'm learning there uh, within health, within weight loss, and, you know, be able to teach this to people and share with, uh, you know, just friends, uh, students, clients, things like that. So I wanted to jam out on really just the easiest of, in my opinion, all of the biblical principles that you can start applying within weight loss specifically here today. And the core scripture, this guy's just gonna be 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. So we'll just jam on that here. And if you're tuning in with me and you're live here, guys, just go ahead and drop a hashtag live down in the comments. And if you're watching this on the replay as well too, I would love to see uh, who, who's watching this. So go ahead and drop hashtag replay down in the comments as well too. So when we look at a biblical principle, guys, what this is, is just simply, hey, it's something that we can learn from scripture, right? The Bible about the nature of God and how he interacts with us here on earth, within his creation. And, and they're just truths that, that stand the test of time, right? So 1 Corinthians six nineteen through 20, I'm sure you guys have heard this so many times, but... It's just a simple scripture on stating the fact that the spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, lives inside of your chest, right? He beats inside of here. And because of that, you know, we're called to, to glorify God. We're called to, you know, use our bodies, kind of like Romans 12, 1 states, which is to offer your body up as a holy sacrifice, um, and, and just simply think about using this body in a way that does glorify God. So wherever you guys are at right now in weight loss, one of the easiest things that you guys can do to start applying scripture into your health just right here in this moment is before you make like big decisions around your health, let's just talk about eating here for instance, Go ahead and just think before a meal, you know, before you go to a restaurant, fast food place, you make a meal at home, whatever it might be, just ask yourself this question. Through this action, am I glorifying God with my body and with my nutrition? And just start to play with that, guys. Like it doesn't have to be robotic to where it's like, yes, no means I do it or I don't do it. Sometimes, guys, like you're going to do things that may not glorify God with your body, right? Sometimes you're going to eat a whole bag of, uh, of barbecue chips. Sometimes you're going to, you know, uh, have some pizza and beer a little one too many times, guys. But what's important here is to build this relationship with food to where you, you just, you engage the spirit of Christ each and every single time that you are taking in food, you're taking in nutrition and just starting to, to ask him, you know, is this glorifying you? And, and through that process, what's really cool is you just build up your relationship with uh, Holy Spirit within your nutrition and you're going to become a lot more sensitive to what he has to say when it concerns the food that you put in your body. You'll be able to hear his voice and follow his voice easier. So in the beginning... You know, it may look like not every decision you're making around food is, is glorifying your body to God, right? Uh, or glorifying God with your body. And that's cool. But let this process just take some time, you guys. Let this be something to where you're patient with it. And you'll start to see that as you just make it a habit not to, let's say, always have to glorify God with every single thing that you eat and making it something to where it's like it, it just feels um, almost unattainable. Start to make the habit out of, hey, I'm just going to engage Holy Spirit and ask him that question. Like, hey, does this glorify you when I eat this? Is this like, you know, um, is this taking care of my body well? And through that, guys, you're going to start to like your opinion 
your view, your thoughts start to become more in union with his around nutrition. And sooner or later, guys, you're going to start making decisions around health, around what you're eating, just more in union with Holy Spirit, starting to ignore any desires of the flesh around food and really starting to just take a deep dive into holy cow. I'm like in sync, in union with the Holy Spirit. It's almost like scripture says that uh, he's inside of me. It's almost like scripture says that I am as Christ Jesus is here on this earth, um, which it does, right? So it makes this really cool thing that you can you can go through to where you take away a lot of the pressure around food and you turn it more into a relationship with Holy Spirit exercise as you build that up and, and just watch a massive transformation come on over your health, guys. So make that one little flip of a switch, super quick, super quick and simple place to start, you know, uh, when it comes to weight loss and renewing the mind. And when you pair this together, guys, with things like walking, um, intermittent fasting for a really easy calorie deficit, some strength training, um, results just start to happen. It's what a, a lot of my clients and, and students within Weight Loss Blueprints, which is um, my weight loss coaching program, $12.50 a week. It's a lot of the things that they're applying within there and starting to see great results. We just had a woman, um, I'll probably put it up on my story, uh, so stinking awesome. She came back after her daughter's birthday party and like actually weighed less and hit like the lowest weigh in. And she said she'd never, ever, you know, lost weight after a birthday party. It was always, you know, eating cake, pizza, et cetera, and gaining weight, which I can totally resonate with that. So really cool to see the things that we're working on in there. Um, just getting those types of results for her. Uh, so super, super cool. And you guys can expect similar things in there. You get access to uh, a world-class training program for your level where you're at with weight loss. And you also get access to a ton of trainings to help you uh, renew the mind and really start to make the shifts around that for your own results within weight loss. So if you guys would like to be a part of that journey, guys, we've got 25 spots open here in the month of October. This is the first time I'm talking about it live on video. So um, would love to have you guys come on in and be a part of this program. Uh, you can start anytime, cancel anytime as well too. And it's uh, an easy way to get access to a lot of my teachings and just stay in my world. So it's super cool and would love to invite you guys just to join that. So if you're watching this and you would like to be a part of Weight Loss Blueprints, just comment down below weight loss. And uh, what I'll do is make sure you get the invitation link for that and, and just start seeing some results in your health. And I'd love to just hear back from you guys as you apply this message here today of just engaging uh, Holy Spirit in dialogue around your food, how that goes for you in the long term. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I'm going to go hop out of here and go shopping with my wife and probably head to bed right after. So I love you guys. I will see y'all tomorrow. Take care.